Hello, <laughs> beautiful family of light. Here we are live from Tulum in Mexico. I am so excited and my heart is absolutely bursting with so much love and gratitude. And I wanted to come live. I felt guided by this beautiful open heart to come and share with you. And the joy that I am experiencing in the last 24, 36 hours by coming back to this beautiful, beautiful place. Yes, I was just dancing and moving my energies and I spent at the morning such a huge amount of time on adjusting. Adjusting, I went through, uh, I went from Cyprus. Uh, from uh, Scotland to Poland, from Poland to Cyprus, from Cyprus to Mexico. And I wanted to share with you guys how amazing it is when we are hard driven and when we are living by our open hearts, by that beautiful heart coherence, becoming every single day more and more energy and less matter. So let me just first show you maybe this place because it is quite quite astonishing so let me see first okay so this is the corridor right and this is the entry that i'm staying and this place is actually my dream come true place because it feels so safe it feels so private yet extremely open so this bed is like the biggest size you can imagine decoration is exactly the way i love it I have here everything, my fridge, <laughs> kitchen appliances, all my suitcases. I brought two because I have moved my whole life into two suitcases. I'm going to close this up. Uh, this space, and this is little booba. So if you're watching this live or on repeat, say hello to my beautiful toy that helped me heal my inner child more than ever before. This is bathroom and this is the terrace. This is where I'm spending most of my time. And I've done over here the over an hour breath work followed with over an hour meditation this morning, which helped me adjust the new environment in, a, in no time. And this is actually the kitchen that they are having here in Mexico. So it's different than in UK or in Poland, because usually it's built up down there. In Mexico, you have like this open, beautiful plan. And I love how spacious and open it is. And the sun comes down over there. So this is actually the jungle. So this place is exactly on the edge. This is the jungle. This is the sunrise over there. And over there in this direction, there is a Tulum. Tulum, which is close to shopping. And this is my breakfast. It's actually huge. I'm gonna have half of it. And I'm gonna enjoy that very soon. And I wanted to come in life with you guys because I am noticing all the time how straight away we are. Let me just turn this off. There it is. I'm noticing all the time. And hello everyone. Hello Antonia. Hi Leslie Ann. So amazing to have you guys here. And I'm noticing how easily, because we are programmed into limitation, we are programmed into constantly saying no, right? So when we are growing up, we want something magnificent. We feel constantly inspired and we feel we want to create, we want to explore, we want the adventure, we want to experience the best things, simple things, big things, normal things. So we constantly go and we ask, oh, I want to go for a trip, I want that new toy, I want to go away with my friends and run through the fields all day. And what we usually hear is no, no. No. So it's constant limitation, constant pushing down each time we try to explore, each time we try to expand, each time we try to experience that which our heart calls us to experience. So we constantly hearing no, no, you can't do this. We don't have money. This is danger. This is danger. This is not safe. Constantly, 
constantly. We are not safe, we are not good enough to have it, we don't have it, we will not get it. Uh, don't even try because you will waste your energy, you will not get that. This is what I was brought up in and majority of us. So it is no, no wonder that we are having our subconscious fully programmed for no. So what I noticed, for example, and let's just give, give an example of Mexico. Many people here in Mexico, they see this beautiful, beautiful villa, they see the pictures, they see this, everything, all of that, this. And if you're joining this right now, lovelies, be sure to watch the video from the beginning and see that little tour of <laughs> made in heaven, made in heaven. Thank you so much for being here and your love. I see Leslie Ann. Hello, Miss Lovely. Hello, Miss Amazing. Tommy is here. Hello. I see Joanne as well. I see Alice. Oh my God. I love you guys. So we hear constantly no, no, no. So no wonder that when we see an opportunity, so our soul call is to be healed. Our soul call is to expand and grow and become entirely free and live the life based on our heart, coherent heart design, which is our highest self, not based on limited conditioned design. That's not design, it's just repeating the past. And when we send this call to the universe, the universe places on our path that which we exactly need right now in order to up, step up on this journey. Let's say we have right now a beautiful Mexico retreat opportunity, which is going to be f absolutely mind-blowing experience. Energy healings, physical healings, emotional healings that there will be happening over there, that will be out of this world. I know that. I know that. Many of you know that. Those who signed up know that. Many of you who didn't sign up know that deep inside. And that's scary. That's scary for many people. Me, all of a sudden, being healed. Me, feeling entirely free. That means I'm going to prove my parents and my family and my whole upbringing wrong. I'm going to prove people that I'm surrounding myself with that they are wrong, that it's wrong to complain, that it's wrong to have excuses, that it's wrong to stay low and stay small. So it's scary for many people and no wonder as well that that subconscious mind kicks in and says, no, <laughs> you, Mexico, no, never. And first of all, the mind is trying to find, hi, Amy, hello. The mind is trying to find a uh, valid justifications for why not to go. I have no money. I'm not good enough. Uh, the world is not right now designed to travel and all of that stuff. Yet we see all the time people who go entirely against those subconscious mind created limitation excuses. I've been traveling since May without allowing myself to buy into someone else's limitation or telling me no. I've decided that I am free and my outside life will be um, showing and proving to me every day that I am free, that I am worthy of living my freedom lifestyle in nature. So why this video, I would like to encourage you to look within. I would like to encourage you to allow yourself right now for a few minutes to open your heart and just imagine letting go entirely of that analytical mind, chatter created fixed justified limitations, no, 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 that we heard in childhood and just breathe into your heart. Just allow yourself to feel your own magnificent heart and love and feel what would it be like if you would be entirely free right now? What would that feel like? Okay, I dare you. I dare you to tune in with your beautiful heart and energy and allow yourself to imagine and feel what would it be like to feel entirely free? Entirely free. Entirely free. Bulletproof. 
and untouchable by the outside environment, by the past conditioning, by the past, and entirely free of the old action taking, repeating same old thought patterns unconsciously, subconsciously. Hi, Victoria. Hi. Repeating the old things. Very often we are addicted to victimhood. My case, the biggest thing ever in my whole life. So addicted to guilt and shame and victimhood. And that was so deeply rooted within me. And being free, living right now in this moment, free of it is out of this world. And it is a daily, uh, daily practice. It is a daily practice, physical, emotional, energetic, energetic and constantly being aware, staying aware and present. No, I'm no perfect, but every single day what I do, it works the way I manifest the reality that my heart calls me to experience. For someone else might be divorcing that person and becoming entirely free, independent, not living in fear of not having money or support. For someone else might be finishing a degree. For someone else might be going for the trip of your lifetime. Maybe it is Mexico actually. For someone else might be just proving to yourself, you know what, I can do whatever I want to do, not what the world or news or my past tells me I can or I can't do. So I encourage you, to go into your beautiful heart. Be with your beautiful breath. Let go of that which makes you feel less than just here and now. Just here and now forever might be too scary. It was for me. And just allow your heart to tell you right now, who are you? Who am I? Align your energy, align your chakras, feel the love. And ask yourself, how free do I want to be? What are the actions I'm going to take today? What are the actions that I am not going to take today? How can I prove to myself in this breath right now that I am worthy? Right? just here and now so I encourage you to go there I encourage you to go to that beautiful place and I encourage you as well to join us in five minutes for a beautiful magnificent group meditation the link is in my last comment and it is as well in manifesting miracles group so join us and as well join us here in Mexico which is just amazing just amazing let me show you guys one more time this space that I am so blessed to have. This is my breakfast, high vibe. This is jungle, jungle is right over there. So I'm experiencing at the morning the jungle uh, sound and as well the energy. I feel the energy from the jungle. The sun is coming up over there. The moon is over there and it is just absolutely magnificent and as well this is where I'm gonna jump into, not from here, I'm gonna go through by the steps down there and I'm gonna have my swim after our meditation. So this is not the place we're gonna stay in, but you can always come earlier and leave later after Mexico retreat and join us. Join us on the adventure of a lifetime. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please comment below. Please share with me what is your biggest heart desire. What do you manifest? Speak about it. Bring it up. Bring it out so it can come into fruition even faster. I'm sending you lots of love and thank you so much for being here. Mwah.